BQ's back, baby. And at the biggest week in American birding, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Prenda la musica! Yeah! This is Birding with BQ. Ah! Living hard to bird hard. All the time. We are live on our second day here at the biggest week in American birding, where we have been on an all-out birding blitz. My day started off very, very early. Thanks again, Chad. Let it be known that Chad Hutch is the real MVP. I spent the first half of my day rocking my leader credentials as I spent time leading a trip to Oak Openings. Oak Openings is a great field trip location because it provides an awesome and unique habitat to anything else that you'll find at the biggest week in American birding. And that means birds that you're typically only going to find in that location during the biggest week because the habitat's so unique. In this big rig, I am the captain now. Mamma mia. Cooper's hawk on the nest. You can see the female's tail sticking out right there as it's sitting on eggs. It was a totally awesome trip. So awesome that I even had a life bird, a Henslow sparrow. Blah! Heard only, but you know what? I'm still gonna count it. As they say, unmistakable. Map turtle, one of my favorite turtle species ever since I was a kid. How awesome. And that brings us here to Howard Marsh Metro Park, a location that's loaded with both birds and birders in this unbelievable habitat. And this habitat is totally different than that of the boardwalk at McGee Marsh, which means the birds we're gonna get here today are gonna be totally different. Black neck stilts, one here, and one there. A pair of blue winged teal, female on the left, male on the right. A first for our trip. See ya. Yellow headed blackbird. Holy smokes. Anybody want to look? Yellow headed blackbird is a rarity to Ohio that's bringing out the people. Tree swallow, barn swallow, bank swallow, northern rough wing swallow, and cliff swallow all together here at Howard Marsh. Wow. We've had a lot of amazing sightings here at Howard Marsh so far, but in my opinion, the most exciting sighting of all that we've had, Mark and Ileana from Birding by Bus. Woo Woo. How are you guys doing here at the Biggest Week? What's going on? We are doing awesome. It's our first time here at the Biggest Week, and we are here giving our first ever keynote presentation about our year on the road, the Birding by Bus adventure. On Monday, I will be with the ABA um, organization doing a live podcast with... Sibley, David Sibley. So the pressure is on. We will be talking about many different topics on where is the birding world going in the future. All right, you guys ready to go find some birds? Let's go find some lifers. Let's do this. Let's do it. Tree swallow. Probably the most common of the swallows here, but simply a stunning bird. Cliff swallow, a bird that we rarely get back home in Pennsylvania. So awesome to see it here the biggest week. The only thing that's missing from this trip, aside from American Golden Plover, is our dear, dear friend. Valentina. And since we couldn't bring her, we brought her stickers. Yeah. <clears throat> Hornlark on the edge of the parking lot. Look at this crew. 
putting in work. Bringing it. Common gallinal. New bird for the trip. A bird way more often heard than seen. So this is a real treat. Oh, wow. Snowy egret, a bird I see all the time on the New Jersey coast, but quite the rarity here in Ohio. Pretty awesome seeing this bird causing quite a stir at the biggest week in American birding. After doing big things at Howard Marsh, we've decided to make our maiden voyage, my first ever trip to Metzger Marsh. Great blue heron nails the landing. Yeah. Anytime now. <laughs> that is from here to October. <laughs> Common grackle. Shorty baby. What was your bird of the day? Have a few. Least bitter in calling was very neat. Uh, Yellowhead blackbird, always a treat, as was bobberlink. And uh, common gallinal. Lots of great common gallinal. Very exciting. I love yeah. It. Best bird of the day so far. Sleeping in. <laughs> I've got Bonaparte's goals out here like one, two, three, four, five, and, and six. There, there's <laughs> six of them. Chad, bird of the day. I'm gonna go with the cliff swallow. Why? So, what? Sorry. I wasn't ready for why. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to reshare it or we have to add it. Yellow warbler. Muskrat. Cool. In order to maintain my journalistic integrity, I had to do a Friday follow-up to the BQ Ribs. Yeah, that's me! Yeah! Any predictions? I predict I'm going to eat those if you don't finish them. Alas, the results are in. Ribs, five out of five stars. Today's day of birding, six and a quarter stars. It was just that amazing to get a life bird and the cerulean warbler up close. And as we sit at the Sweet Chin Music House of 100 on Lake Erie, I'm not ashamed to finally admit something, that I'm tired. But ladies and gentlemen, it was well worth it. And tomorrow is day three at the biggest week in American birding. So until then, stay fresh and peace out.